Alright. Next battle, it's finally my turn after the, after that, after him taking my base, but counter-attack. I must attack, must take this place back because I have 50 points less. So yeah, I'm attacking the digestion pool again, trying to counter-attack it to retake it. Just as a side note, this is the first time I have won. Orcs always win, but this is the first time Bootlander has won. Uh, and the offensive nature. Alright, so now going into the, that, that'll be our game. This is our next game. Um, my attack. I'm attacking. I am attacking the digestion pool again. We are playing spearhead and uh, annihilation. Table quarters. Table quarters and annihilation. Yep. Uh, Bowlender went first, and I did not want to steal the initiative. But let's see what you have. Okay, it's a 1750 point game, but because I won your digestion pool last turn, I get the 50 extra points, so I actually have 18 1800 points on the table. Uh, Ten Ludus. I have three trucks, twelve boys, eleven boys in the now. Uh, actually, added the battle wagon and hopefully doesn't uh, get destroyed. Yeah, I know. This battle wagon actually has fifteen orc boys in the knob and the uh, the big mech in the force field. I have three knob bikers. That's not a war bus, it's just a knob, but they do have, all have power balls. Uh, these guys are two fast attack. Those war buggies. They have scorches. Uh, these are two more war buggies. This has a scorcher. This has the actual uh, big shooter here. These two uh, buggies. Killer cans with Gratzukas and uh, Grot Rigger. No, they don't have the Grot Riggers. They have the armor plates. Uh, these five helicopters, which are Scott moved, which are a Scott move. And here you just see my one, two, three truck uh, contingents and then the, the battle wagon. Uh, and now go ahead. And Alright, what I have is. Alright, I got 20 Hormaguns, 3 Hive Guard, 3 Zoanthropes, Turbogon, Trigon, 20 Hormaguns, and a Turbogon in the back. A 2 squads of 18 Sealers and out in reserve, either route flank or come off the back. And I got a Deep Striking Duma Malentive pod. And. So orcs going first. Okay, end of orcs turn one. Movement phase. I move this truck up 12 inches. Move the battle wagon up six. Move this truck up six. Move this one, which was behind everyone, up 12. Moved the two buggies up 12. Moved the war bikes up 12. Moved these little uh, war buggies up 12 inches. These guys moved up six. I had scouted my move over here for my helicopters and then moved another 12 here. So that's all the movement. Uh, I did some shooting. This guy, or one of these guys, this truck here, shot and killed one uh, Hormigon over there. These guys shot Grotzukas at those people there and only was able to kill one. These helicopters here shot four shots at the Turbagon and took three wounds from him, so that was good shooting. And then these guys, I rolled a five to allow them to shoot three times. I shot 30 times and gave the Turbagon ten wounds, well, ten potential wounds, and he missed, I think, four. So the Turbagon did die, and two Hormagons died. So that's the end of my turn. We'll come back with the Tyranid turn. Um, so end of my turn, I just move these Hormagons up, spawn seven gods, they can't spawn anymore. Put Catalyst on those, these Hormagons. Move Hive Guard here, Zone Dope over there. Zone Dope shot some of the Killicans, took out one, and took out a gun for the other one, and made the other one, so, and also the one can't shoot. Hive Guard finished them off, made them, the, the, the last two explode. Hormagons moved up, charged the Death Goptas. Killed one in assault, and Death Cup has killed two of mine. Before assault, um, Prime, Trigon Prime, shot at those and killed another Death Dread. Uh, Formigots moved up, charged the three knot bikers right here, killed them all, and consolidated back. 
and oh, and one of my guys failed their they did perils of the war. So now going into orcs turn two. All right, so end of orcs turn uh, two. So tell us what happened. Well, no. I went ahead and pushed up my little buggies, all four of them, uh, to this location, 12, 12, move this up 6, move this up 6, move this up also 6, uh, move this over 12, jump my orcs out. These guys actually made their uh, escape, hit and run, or whatever it's called, from the, they were tied in combat. They ran up, they made it, they moved in this direction. They shot at the Trigon Prime, took two wounds away from it. Uh, these orcs, I just go this way. These orcs shot at the Hormagons and killed maybe one in shooting, one or two in shooting. And then in assault, they basically charged. They lost three guys, and he lost the full wound, but they wiped out the 14 guys. Uh, the Luda shot once each. They shot 10 shots, and they took. Killed one of the hive guard, gave another guy a wound. Uh, like I said, all these guys flamed and sh uh, flamed and shot at these guys and diminished them down so they were only like 14 or so, or, I don't know, 13, uh, 20 originally. These guys kind of shot at them. Really, nothing happened. I mean, they killed maybe about five total out of all this shooting and flaming. And then my orc boy shot, maybe killed another two. I really thought I would have been able to win combat with the charge, but I just rolled bad and he made his uh, saves. This guy only killed one with the power claw. That was huge. So I lost combat. I did make my leadership, so I wasn't run down, thankfully. Because these guys have great, like, running down skills. So they're tied in combat, and it's uh, the end of my turn. And my turn uh, three, yes. I brought in one squad of Dean Steelers, moved them off the board edge, moved and ran. These hive guards shot at this tank, was able to take it out, explodes, kills a couple orcs, charge in, finish off the rest. Ormagon still locked for combat. The dragon comes to the rescue, and they all all the orcs die there. All of them make their leadership test and to kill two more death no, death copters. And he puts catalyst on the trigon. Turbicon puts catalyst on the trigon. And that and these guys is consolidated. These guys all consolidated too. So now going into orc turn three. In the orc turn three, uh, orc did a little tactical retreat here. Uh, zoom back 12 inches with the battle wagon. Zoom back 12 inches with these guys here. Uh, the boys that were out jumped into the truck and then they moved over here 12 inches as did that helicopter moved over here. These guys did move forward 12. This guy moved forward 12. They jumped out. They uh, shot at the hive guard. Actually brought one wound away from it and then in assault they were able to kill them. Kill the last guy. I think one orc boy died in the assault. Over here, these guys flamed and shot at the gene stealers. Took them down to seven total. Uh, the Luna shot twice and were able to kill the rest in nine wounds. And make all the saves. Over here, there was four Hormigots, and these guys shot uh, their flamers, killed three of them. This big Luda gun shot and killed the last guy and the cannon tried to shoot at these guys nothing happened uh, consolidate back very poorly again one inch and that is the end of my turn and we're going to go so ahead and see you want to see if your reserves come in to roll uh, which one are you going with? Dean Steeler come in, in. Okay. Uh, do a come on yes okay so we'll come back with this turn Alright, uh, end of my turn, four, yes. Moved up Trigon, shot at these orc boys, killed, like, five, assaulted, Gene Steelers come off this side, assaulted them, killed them all. Some 
attacked on the truck and just took off its gun. Over here, he's turned on and shot it here. Dual mount light goes down there. All he's able to do, he doesn't, he immobilizes the truck with his flange weapon and takes, soul grabs the, the death cop to death. These guys only able to make off one shot onto these guys making so this one right here, this war buggy can't shoot. Here we're gonna put catalyst on the dry gun. And that is the end of my turn four. Going into orcs turn four. Mid turn wrap up, not the end of orc phase. But for the first time in history, all of Green Green Donify history, Volander going to call a wog. Yeah! <laughs> getting those forks and the salt oh. to do my malentai. Let's see what happens. Okay, uh, end of the orc turn. I uh, went ahead and boosted up 12 inches all those guys. I flamed on the heat stealers. One guy couldn't flame. The other guy shot three shots and actually killed one and killed like four others in flame. There's three left. Ludus shot once each, hit five times, and wounded four. And they all died. All died. Uh, that's really the only thing that happened. This guy shot at the, my Setix 4, did nothing. My horse walked for the very first time, and because of my new nature, I did nothing. I tried to have. Took a wound off the Took a Cetix. wound off the spore with five boys. And, no, four boys, and then one, uh, um, I had one wound against the a power claw against the, the Doom of Mount. And, I made it. and it's because I lost so many guys because of his Leech Essence powers. So that did not go as well so, as I thought it would. So that's the end of the work turn. Okay. So now going into Tyrion, it's turn five. End of my turn. With these Termagons back to their mother. Moved. Zoned up, up, shot at that, and destroyed it. Move, moved up, tried got shot at these two, the one right here. Made one so it can't shoot, assaulted it, and just blew it up. And this one took off its gun. And that's the end of my turn. Going into Orc's turn 5, we'll roll at the end of Orc's turn 5. Alright. Oh, end of Orc's turn 5. Does what? Okay, and the uh, end of Orc's turn 5. We're gonna roll here in a second. Uh, Basically, that guy, the little guy that was immobilized, he tried to flame the, the Trigon Prime. Foolishly, did nothing. This guy shot at one of the little termagants and it did nothing. It moved it moved there. Uh, the three shot guy and the flamer flamed three and killed hit two. one, but killed two because the cover saves. Killed two. These guys shot once each and actually. Put three wounds on the spores and took off the spores. That's really about it. We're gonna roll here and the one green roll. above will keep the game going. Six. Six. Game keeps keeps going. Oh going. gosh. Alright. Okay, we'll come back. My turn six. Turn and turn. Very big mistake. Actually, we rolled the, the who goes on the next turn on the wrong time because we we were thinking that the Tyrannus went first, but actually the Orcs went first. But still, we One did turn. we did. Now it is end of. Well, I guess we'll we'll just keep going. That is Tyrannus went first, so it'd be the end of turn six. So okay. this, we'll just keep going. That doesn't really big, not a big well, deal. Well, let's just recap what happened. All right, what happened was in my turn. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, we did. Too. Uh, he insta hit the vehicle. And seven he, times. Yeah, seven times. He did uh, four with two dice to penetrate and rolled three two times with two dice. So the two goes pretty bad, but whatever. Took it out, exploded. Uh, and then these guys just moved up. Oh, oh, one shot shot at this truck that was there, but it was in range of the force field and made a save. And say what happened in your turn now. That's okay, okay, yeah. Uh, in my turn, oh, and this has catalyst. This had catalyst. Yeah. In my turn, I moved those little uh, flamers and the shooter guy, the big shooter, 12 inches. They were a bunch of little termagants nesting around the mother termagant, and I flamed three of them and the termagant, killed three, didn't hurt the termagant, and then my big shooter gun 
killed or shot two more, three more, and wounded one and killed the last guy. So they're all dead. Uh, in shooting for the Ludas, I shot and rolled a six. They rolled three times each. So that was 30 shots. And I was trying to figure out if I go for the shoot at this guy who had catalyst, three plus save, and then the four, or these guys who had threes and vulnerable saves. And I actually shot these guys and killed two. With three wounds, there's one guy with one wound, so there's just one guy with two wounds in there. And that's the end. So no. Did we already roll? Or no. You roll the no. Again? Well, that was no, but alright. So let's roll to see. We'll just roll to see again. I'll roll this time. Oh, geez, the game doesn't end. It's okay, only turn. What turn is it? Seven. Turn seven. Okay. All right. Turn. It's end of my turn. Over here, these two guys shoot at this. Do my Malentine misses. Last shot, he doesn't. Destroys the big shooter. Assaults. Does nothing. Over here, Trigon moves, runs six inches, assaults the truck, and blows it up. But sadly, Luda's right there, just aiming at its face. He's gonna destroy it. So now going into orcs. Okay, this is the end of the game. No rolls or anything. This is just the end of uh, the last turn seven. I went ahead and busted away from combat here. Flame, that guy right there, uh, did nothing. He still has two wounds. Uh, over here, the big mech jumped up, let a, a bellowing roar, shot his gun and his cannon at this monstrosity coming at him, and did nothing but uh, he just stood up to the monster there. These guys, I had a choice. I, I could either shoot at this guy who was not in range of uh, Catalyst, so he'd only get his armor saved, or I could shoot at this guy that got uh, same, same save, but threes. But he only had two wounds, this guy had four. I decided, I lost anyway, and I just decided for the fun of it to shoot at the Trigon. I actually shot twice, so 20 shots, I hit 7, and Green Donify made all his saves except for 4, so he actually did die, and the orc, the orcs can have like a, a happiness or a moral victory even though they probably lost from kill points, but that's the end of the game. It's a little closer than I thought it would be, but I still think the orcs lost. But uh, we'll come back and say what happened. All right, let's count how many guys they got. Turbogon, one. Trigon, two. Which counts for three? Huh? Two, three. Um, hive guard. They'll spawn Turbogons four. White Hormogons five. Other squad twenty Hormogons six. Gene Steelers, seven, other Gene Steelers, eight, and my Cetix, four, nine. One thing, you also had another group of Turbogons because both of your Turbogons no. spawned. No, my, that you killed the Turbogon before it could spawn. You did? Yeah. Okay, uh, over here I had one truck destroyed, yeah. two truck destroys, three two. truck destroys, three. Their boy contingents, four, six. Five. And is that here? Six. Okay, the guy's all in here. Seven. Seven. Okay, now, this group, eight. This eight. Spot, eight. Bikes, Nobs, nine. There was a ten. Ten, eleven. And so, yeah, the turn eleven. one. By two. By two. All right. Yeah. So, uh, what was your MVP of the match? Well, the loot is. Killed the Trigon? They killed the Trigon. They hurt also the zone throws. They hurt the zone throws. High guard. Yeah, because the orcs killed the high guard. Oh yeah. Uh, they killed the spore. Yeah, these guys actually shot good, and they killed uh, those gene stealers there. Yeah. Yeah. The finish off the finish off the gene stealers. Yeah. And those gene stealers. Yeah. Here. So like basically. Oh yeah, they basically did everything. The thing is, when my orcs came out of their trucks, they just. I couldn't believe they, they didn't kill a sweep off these guys here. And, you know, it was just hard because Green Dog I position his people so that when I charge, he could just bring his reserves from the table's edge and just, like, assault me for the next turn. And just, like, uh. I actually thought I was going to have a good game because I killed the Turbogon my first turn, just shot him up, 
And then oh, like, really the other Turbagon just spawned like six or seven and guys stopped. and stopped. But, man, oh well. It was a good game. Well, my MVP, well, the Trigon maybe, moved to destroyed a truck, helped destroy a couple boys, and destroyed some, like, war buggies. I think it was the Hive Guard, though. I think it's the May guys. Yeah, maybe, because they insta-killed. took out these things. No, they didn't finish them off. The Hive Guard blew those guys up. Well... Between the high guard and those zone throws, they took out these two guys and the trucks. And it just I really think everyone was a tie, but it just, I think it was the high guard. High guard, my man of the match. My least valuable player was this turbo gun who just didn't do anything. He died. 100 and like 6, 7, 5 points of nothing. Or, yeah. Uh, yeah, so what, what was your LVP, least valuable player? Those bikes again. Oh, they didn't, they didn't even do anything. Mike just. Hormigon just killed them all when I charged them. Well, another win for the tier, and it's taking back. I was at a 50 point lowness, whatever, and I find I take back my factory. So now going now another another win for the tier.